Hey, what is going on guys? Silver Acacia Darkness here. Now, um, this something I actually did get, I actually, um, really caught my eye because for those of you that don't know, Fairy Tale is probably one of my most favorite amazing anime. Not my, not my, not my number one anime, because that belongs to Code Geass still, but Fairy Tale is definitely up there. And if you can't really see it, I'll, pr if you guys can see it, I'm going to carry my webcam for a moment. Right, I don't know if you guys can see it, but uh, my fairy tale wall scroll somewhere over there. I hope if you couldn't see it, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, I um, I but I remember because I bought that like three years ago, and I had it set and I had signed from Todd Habercorn, the voice of Natsu, um, and uh, Chris Sabat, the voice of Elfman. There's so many people that signed it. Oh my god. Um, but yeah, hang on. There we go. Um. But yeah, fairy tale probably an amazing one. But this really caught my eye because uh, the la because it's a stage play, and um, the last time I actually ever did cover a stage play, a stage play type of thing, was actually for um, Naruto, which was last year, and uh, that was actually and that one was actually pretty that was actually pretty well done. Compare, I mean, if you're comparing the stage plays uh, like the stage play of Naruto to like. The Attack on Titan live action movie and the live action Corpse Party movie, I kind of consider it a little bit, uh, pretty much a bit better. <laughs> in my, but that's just my personal opinion. I'm pretty sure. I mean, everyone has their own opinion, and that's just my own opinion. I mean, like the Attack on Titan movie, I didn't really enjoy it much, and Corpse Party didn't really turn out to be the um, the overall hype that I had from last year. Because I remembered uh, last year being all hype about the new Force Party live action movie. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys that have been around my channel know pretty much already know about this. Um, but yeah, uh, Course Party. Uh, I mean, it's all right. <laughs> I mean, I've, plus I've heard that movie got my movie's getting a sequel, but that's that's for another story. That's that's something uh, not besides this. We're gonna get back on the subject. Uh, there's a Natsu visual for the fairy tale stage play. And we're going to get into this right now. Link in the description below, as usual. Advanced tickets will go on sale on February 28th. Hang on. I think my webcam is... There we go. Sorry. Sorry if I keep uh, looking at my webcam over and over. It's just... Uh, I'm. It's just my webcam keeps... I don't know. <laughs> uh, the official website for Life Fantasy Fairy Tale, the upcoming stage play adaptation of Hiro Mashima's action fantasy manga Fairy Tale, posted a visual for the protagonist Natsu Dragneo, portrayed by a 25 year old Shuto, Shuto Miyazaki, a member of Watanabe's, Watanabe Entertainment's actor group D Boys. I've actually heard about this guy and D Boys. I've heard about these guys before. I've heard di I've heard a lot of good things about these guys. Um, if you guys like them, let me know in the comments. <laughs> he previously played Shinpachi Naka Nagakura in ha in the uh, Hakuoki musical from 2012-2015, and Hayato Shin Shinkai in the Yawamushi, Yawamushi Pedal Stage Play from 2013-2015. If I pronounce any of these things wrong, I do apologize, but. Look at this! Look at this! My god, that's so detailed. Holy shit. <laughs> that's so amazing. I love the effect. That's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty good fire effects too. But I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure any experienced... Uh, or even an intermediate in Photoshop can do that. I'm not even sure about intermediates. Who knows? But, uh, holy shit. <laughs> he actually portrays it pretty well. He has the... He has the... The tattoo, the abs, the, <laughs> the, I think the right vault. It looks like he has the right volume of hair too. It it's only shown in one angle, but it looks like it. Although the hair, I, the hair is supposed to be pink, but it's it's dark red though. That's kind of throwing me off that it's dark red, but man, but oh man, I this just looks amazing. Holy shit! Oh, okay, here's a bit. Oh, oh. Oh my god. It's so cool. <laughs> Please be I hope this is another cool uh stage play like the Nar like the uh like the Naruto one was last year. I hope I hope I hope it's a good one. I'm really hoping it is. If you are go if you are going to see this, let me know what it's like. I'm really I really really want to know what this is like. What uh what you guys think. Um 
just let me know like in the future when you see this like just come back to this video after after you like after wanting to see this video and you're gonna go see it and then you go see it come back to this video and tell me in the comments <laughs> I don't know but oh man just look at this this is so great it's so well done it's so well done Akiko Kodama who made it who made her stage direct directorial D D but for the Taka Takara Zuka re review in 1997 writes and directs the adaptation. Among manga such anime fans, she is well known for the writer such director for the live spectacle Naruto last year. Oh, okay. Spectacle so Naruto last year's stage play adaptation of Masashi Kishimoto Kishimoto's ninja action manga series. Okay, so it's done, but so um, so she's um, so she's bit she's she, so she's um, this um, so I can't. So Akiko, uh, she's gonna be the same person who also did the live spectacle Naruto stage play last year. Is doing this for Fairy Tail, and if it was very well done from the from the Naruto one, I mean, I haven't seen it myself, but I've I've only seen, I mean, I've only seen the trailer, and uh, a lot of people told me, and a lot of my friends told me that it was amazing, that it looks great, and it looks amazing. So if the Naruto one turns out amazing, I. I think this one should turn out as amazing too. Well, but we'll just have to see and play the waiting game by then. Live at Fantasy Fairy Tale is scheduled to perform 16 times at Sunshine Theater in Ikebukuro, Tokyo, from April 30 to May 9th. 7, 7,800 yen event tickets will go on sale on February 28th. Okay. Um. But if you are going, let me know what it's. Like. If you are going, uh, let me know what it's like afterwards, or if you know how it's going to turn out. Or maybe if you do know how it's going to turn out, except I'm not sure how you would even know, let me know in the comments also. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe if you like fairy tale. Kidding. Uh, <laughs> that was bad. I know. I'm I'm sorry. Um, but shit. Um, I'm really hoping we get more visuals. Like, um, like what? Like who's gonna play Lucy? Are we gonna get another member of uh, D Boys for um, to do Gray? Are we gonna get? Another, are we gonna get, um, I don't know, there's so many possibilities, there's, um, well, not, I'm not really sure if there's a whole lot of possibilities, but I'd like to see what the future of this holds. I'm really curious, very, very curious about, um, how this will turn out, so, again, let me know what you guys think in the comments, and, uh, as usual, I will see you guys in the next video. Jumata!